Where do you put the weight? So when we center the weight, the MPR doesn't say where to put the weight in the drawer, but we're centering the weight along the, the, the drawer center, right? Now, we're coming forward, right? If you have to come forward, if there's enough weight to get to come forward, we're coming forward in the drawer instead of going backwards. Now, why would we do that, right? If you go backwards, you're gonna make, you're gonna make it easier to pass, right? So we're coming forward to make sure that the test is as onerous, to use a, a, a 2057 rule that Barbara Weiner just loves, the word onerous, to make it more onerous, right? So that's, that's why we're doing that. Another very important part to this rule where you put the weight in the drawer is really important for the test now. So in method one testing without an interlock, all drawers, once loaded, need to be extended. So that way we're putting all that weight out forward. If an interlock is present that's preventing more than 50% of those drawers remaining closed, in other words, you can only extend 49% or less, then, you're allowed, then you do not utilize any test weight within those units because any weight you would prescribe into there is actually only going to make the unit more stable. And so before we do this test real quickly, let me also make note of the fact that if you have levelers in this unit, you can level out the one and a half degree angle and test with it level. Very important. So as we're doing this again, we're aiming for the center line of the drawer front and we're just applying gentle downward force. Um, the force is prescribed to be applied over a course of at least five seconds. There. Our peak force that we exerted was 5.1 pounds. And that peak force is measured when the unit tips one quarter of an inch from the tilted 